Hey, what's going on, guys? All right, so I want to talk about some stuff with uh, fiber mesh today really quick. And just a quick uh, little hidden gem I found. Uh, so if you've ever worked with fiber mesh, you may have experienced the issue of, I just sculpt a clump of fibers and I want to merge it now. But when you merge it, it becomes regular geometry, meaning it's no longer groomable. And let me demonstrate that real quick, just so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so say I have generated a clump of fibers from this plane. And I'll just do that again really quick here. Uh, so we start from scratch. All right, so I've got my settings set. I like the way everything looks. I usually keep profile at one. That keeps it single-sided, although it will turn double-sided, guys, when I convert it to fiber mesh. Segments is how many uh loops it has lengthwise going down i like to keep that up a bit but yeah generally i keep this at one the bpr settings we'll go over in a bit because that's important but so say you come in here and you're like oh well let's accept this i like these fibers and you'll notice since i had polyframe on the reason i have the planes poly grouped is the fibers inherit the poly groups but anyways, back to what I was saying, uh, but that just makes it easy to kind of isolate some of these and whoops. Okay, let me just do that. And then control shift A guys to select everything that's hidden, just drag and you can invert your selection. And then you can, you know, continue to do that. I don't know why control shift a that should be selecting all of the okay control shift q will select everything in that poly group as well so there's a control shift a will select all control shift q for the poly group anyways all right back to what i was saying let me delete hidden there that's what i was trying to do all right so say you're sculpting these with a groom brush and I just want to mention a brush because I'm going to actually give you guys for free this template and this brush to make fibers with if you want to just to play with and make it easier for you. So let me grab my groom brush, which I will share here. Um, let's see. All right. So say I'm grooming these around and I want to... This is essentially a move brush with uh, fiber mesh enabled, guys. So the way you enable uh, fiber mesh, if you want to know, on any brush is under the brush tab, fiber mesh, preserve length, crank it to 100. Uh, another setting that's global is front collision tolerance, and having that low helps, in my opinion, but mainly the preserve length. You can do it to the smooth brush, holding shift and adjusting it. And that will make it so your smooth doesn't shorten them like that. Anyhow. So say you sculpt a clump of hair, you're happy with it, and you want to duplicate it off. Well, the problem becomes if you do the old control drag the gizmo trick, it's like, well, cool, I have, I have two clumps now. But then you go to groom it, and I'm just going to grab something pretty strong like Twister. And it's no longer fiber mesh. Like, look at this. It's trying... To it, it no longer behaves as fiber mesh. So the way around that, guys, is I'm going to undo back. And I'm going to control shift D, which is actually a shortcut for duplicate. So I'm going to duplicate that. And now what I would do uh, is turn... What you do is you put them in a folder. You put the two clumps. So I'll polygroup that one, polygroup that one something else. Put them in a folder and use the gear wheel by the folder to merge the folder together and make sure you're only merging uh the fibers otherwise this will not work so let's hit merge folder and it's going to spit out another sub tool down at the bottom of the folder uh let's see merge fibers yeah here we go and did it yeah I'm not sure what actually happened there. Let's try that again. Uh, oh, I do see what happened. So, so it's got both clumps there, guys. I just forgot to move one of them. So, yeah, let me move this one over and redo that. So, let's re-merge 
this folder. Let me, let me uh. Get rid of those. These are the ones I had already merged before. I just want you to see clearly what's happening. Okay, so we have two visible. They are in a folder together. And now if I merge folder, it's going to spit them out down below. Turn the visibility off on the others. And now you'll see that you can actually still groom these with groom brushes. To, and you can control shift click to isolate and that's that's cool so that's kind of like the little hidden thing i found it's just a way to merge fiber mesh together and keep it fiber mesh because i've had so many people say to me man i wish i could like work on a clump at a time without you know going like poly grouping it and all that stuff so anyways now i want to talk about convert bpr to geo because it's super fun and i, I love it i love to use it just for fun honestly uh, sometimes with cloth transpose or just gizmo fall off. And I'm going to show you over here, something that I used. This is converted fiber mesh guys. This is basically converted geo and it's kind of a lot. And that, that happens when you're doing it. Um, it's going to, there's no way around it. Really. You're going to have a lot of geo, but, uh, I want to show you a cool way to layer stack uh, micro mesh with convert BPR to geo to get a cool result like this. And then, you know, kind of step through this with you all. So let's come down here to these fibers. And I just want to show you the result I ended up with because I did end up dynameshing together. Uh, basically, I did a micro mesh from hair card preset that I have. So these are fibers. And then I told it to bring in this hair clump right here, which I did convert BPR to geo. And if you don't know what convert BPR to geo guys is, it's this, it's taking fiber mesh and then coming down here to the geometry tab. And then you hit convert BPR to geo and it's going to turn it into whatever under the fiber mesh tab here under your settings bpr settings you have uh it's going to subdivide it once it's going to give it four sides from one side and the radius is just like half like if you crank the radius up it'll be ridiculously large so that's that'll give you kind of a preview of what it's going to look like but when you hit convert bpr to geo you'll see the active points got a lot higher and these are now actual geometry that you can sculpt on or bend around, but they're actually really clean geometry. So I subdivided them up like maybe one time and then I kind of inflated them and that was how I ended up with this result. Okay. So this was this hair clump. And what I did was I propagated that hair clump to a bunch of hair cards using micro mesh. Now by default guys, um, micro mesh is not turned on. So what you have to do to use micro mesh is render, go to your render tab. And then under the render tab, you want to turn my draw micro mesh on right here. And then on the fibers that you generate, which I will provide this preset as well, which is flat hair cards. I just kind of tilted her head back and, uh, let's see if it's still there. Yeah, so that's the preset because it fall it falls with the gra uh, the gravity that you have her head tilted at. So what I like to do is snap it to forward, guys, and then grab this and tilt it, and then that puts it at a perfect like little tilted back angle, and then preview, and then anytime you adjust something, it's gonna re do that. But as long as you don't adjust anything, and so now I have a bunch of straight cards. Now what's gonna happen is. I'm going to accept that. So now I have these cards, guys. And since I have the render micro mesh turned on, you can come to your geometry tab and hit micro mesh. And then you're going to pick from whatever uh, another tool. So whatever sub tool you have selected within that tool is what it's going to pick. And it doesn't have to be fibers or BPR or any of that stuff. It just like I could pick a cylinder if I wanted and it would propagate that cylinder 
to everything. That's what MicroMesh is. The only difference between a regular plane and fiber mesh and why I'm using fiber mesh with micro mesh is it's the only thing that will scale it this whole span of the here let me let me just show you so if see how it's going down the whole span of the card well if I suddenly subdivide that now it's putting it in every subdivision because it's no longer my once you subdivide micro mesh it's no longer or i mean fiber mesh it's no longer fiber mesh so what happens is it's showing you a little preview guys of what this is going to look like when you hit convert bpr to geo and that's what you do with micro mesh this is not a fiber mesh thing it's just another way to use convert bpr to geo so i ended up with this sort of result but the cool thing is i can use my this is still fibers guys so i can come in here and groom these with the groom brushes uh this is a really big one but you know if you want it to flare out a bit this is kind of just a, a fiber move brush again and then convert that it's going to be kind of a lot of polygons so what i then did was i ran the inflate over it a bit and then i just dynameshed it at a really high resolution with with polish on which takes your clay polish settings so you get i got a result similar to this right there and now you can take it and this is really cool because you can get some wild variation just from sculpting or doing one clump and the whole goal here was to just do it all kind of automated like generate some fibers then generate more fibers and then use micro mesh on top of fiber mesh i thought it was a really cool workflow and i love this result and uh right here if i jump forward you'll see that was before if you want to leave it like this that's 1.2 million points which isn't bad considering and i'll just this is another thing i like to use fiber mesh for guys stuff like this so i'll just show you really quickly before i wrap it up um let me turn v1 on and step down here now I'm going to bring my movie down and show, okay, timeline is showing. Let's step forward. And I was looking at the Last of Us uh, screenshots for reference here, guys. But uh, this is fiber mesh converted to BPR Geo. And then I just kind of use Gizmo fall off with the cloth transpose to stretch it. And, you know, had it, so it looks like she's got some of those nasty tendrils coming out of her mouth like on that show. Anyways, guys, I hope that you like this workflow, and I hope that these tips help, and I hope you enjoyed the brush and the templates that I provide. If you have any questions about this, I know it's kind of complicated. Uh, just leave them in the comments. All right, till next time.